And look at this cutie magooty, would ya? With her legs swinging. You passed the girl again. Tangled. Of course, tangled. You passed the girl. Think you need some, think you need some bibs. You never needed bibs when you were younger. I think you need bibs now that you're older. Cause you're a messy bum. You like to get your hands dirty now. <laughs> yeah, you do. Look at those little leggings going. Look at those little leggings going. Yeah. All right, I won't interrupt you anymore. You eat your nom noms. Yeah. Look at them handies. Nom 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 nom. Hello, good afternoon, guys. So I just came to the startling realization that it is June the 1st today. Now, for anybody who's been watching the vlog long term, in particular since June of last year, you would know that it has been one year since I've consumed a carbonated beverage. I haven't had soft drink for one year. No soft drink, no soda, no pop. No Coke, whatever the hell you want to call it. Do you like them apples? Not good at all. <laughs> Sicky Sickerson over here thought she avoided getting the flu. <clears throat> You're the one who gave it to all of us to begin with. I don't know what happened. I think that's what happens to you every time. You get sick for like one day and then you give it to all of us. And then you get better. And then it comes back and bites you in the ass two days later. No, do you know what happened? I get sick. Uh -huh. And then I give it to all of you, and then I get into mother mode, and I look after everybody. You haven't been anywhere near and me. During that time, I just get more run down, so then I get like really sick. You haven't been anywhere near me in the last two days. I've been bloody locked in my room trying to not get beepy sick. Yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> speaking of <laughs> beepy, <laughs> hi little girl. Couldn't you wait for us? You wanted to get out. She wait. She's out. She climbed, she climbed out of bed and everything. Hey, put some pants on. Go on. Yes, one full year since I've <laughs> drank a, a, yeah, a, any form of soft drink. And I remember saying many a times over last year, oh, I can't wait till it gets to June again because I'm gonna just yeah, blah, 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 drink, drink, drink. No real desire. Now, it's not saying that I'm not gonna break the break the fast of yeah and there's every possibility that I will and as soon as I find that freaking Dr Pepper can in my room whatever box it's in I probably will drink it but yeah a whole year without soft drink it's just I don't know it's, it's a, it turned into something that I wanted to cut it out of my system and it just escalated and escalated and then I went okay well I might as well do it for this amount of time and this amount of time I'll screw it let's just do it for a whole year so yeah you know what? I don't think it made any difference in my life at all. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't originally. It wasn't a weight loss thing or anything like that. That I didn't want to drink soft drink. It was just. I was just tired of drinking soft drink. So I. Yeah. What are you doing? I don't think you're allowed in this room. But yeah. Another little goal achieved, I guess. No soft drink for one year. Tick. Hey guys, so it's 3.20 a.m. Um, I've got... Oh, damn. I've got to go out for breakfast tomorrow at like... I'm getting picked up at 10. It's now 3.20. And, um... <clears throat> yeah, I was meant to wash my hair and blow dry my hair and straighten my hair. But I decided to watch three blade boobies in a row instead and now like I said it's 3.20 so I can't be stuffed washing my hair and blow drying my hair and straightening my hair because then I'd be doing an all nighter um I woke up today with a bit of a sore throat and like that really 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 blocked nose like you know the kind of blocked nose where you can't force it out and you can't suck it in it sounds disgusting but, um, yeah, like, it's just, like, this big congestedness in your, your whole, like, not your whole, but <laughs> in your airways, in your <clears throat> nasal cavity, sinuses, whatever. It's just all up in there. 
So then anyway, after about two hours, I managed to um, blow my nose. Blah. And yeah. Oh, why, why am I talking about this? One minute thirty. Alright, mum said I have to talk for two minutes. So I've got like 30 seconds left. I'm just going to lay down a little bit. I had a nap this afternoon. That's why I didn't go to bed early. Because I had a nap from five till six. <sighs> and yeah, I think that's my two minutes up. So, oh my god. Oh, okay, I'm that far from the wall, right? And look at my foot. <sighs> this is the smallest effing bed on the face of the earth. This is a standard double. I don't know if um, beds overseas are the same size as they are here, but this is a double bed. And I'm used to having a queen. Like, I've had a queen since I was in my early teens. And, um, yeah, a double feels so much shorter than a queen. Not only is it, like, slimmer at the sides, but, yeah, a double feels a lot shorter. Is that just my imagination or is that actual true fact? Because, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, like, what? Oh, I'm, I'm a pretty decent amount away from the thing. But in mum's bed, I swear I could be like a metre away from the top of the bed and my feet would barely be touching the end. And this, I'm like, you know, an arm, not even an arm's length away and my feet hang over the end. So, yeah. I think that's pretty interesting. I changed my room around. Okay. I was trying to find my I'm just trying to find my layout I didn't like the the bed in front of the door thing with my feet facing the door because then like if a serial killer breaks into the house and kills everyone and my room's at the end of the house then you know if if he opens the door my bed's right there whereas I figure that if he opens the door I'm like further away so then I've got stuff that I can grab and throw at him it's just my logic don't know if anyone else thinks like that but um, I'm always prepared like to a point that I have a stash of like not weapons but <sighs> shit that can be used as weapons like no one is gonna get me I don't know if that's like because I'm traumatized from being exposed to a horror movie when I was younger um, because I'm just not that kind of person I can't watch scary movies like that and because of all the crime shows that I watch and things um, Australia is a very safe country in the big scheme of things but you just never know like and I'm not being taken down by no motherfucker breaking in my house so yeah that's my logic I want my bed as far away from the door as possible let me know if you also plan ahead for things like that so that I don't feel like a total freak right now. Awesome. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Even though I've just traumatised the shit out of myself. Good night, guys. Four o'clock in the morning, can't sleep. <coughs> <coughs> nah, too busy coughing. You know how you cough and wake yourself up? Cough, wake yourself up. I thought I'll stop it. I'll just get up. So, um, yeah. So instead of just laying in bed feeling miserable, I can be walking around unpacking boxes feeling miserable. So yeah, we still haven't got to unpack in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom, that's just how it's echoing. So yeah, I've just unpacked all the boxes. Um, so look how neat it is. <laughs> I've even got green boxes to match the tiles in the bathroom. Yeah, and in the cabinet here, remember this is the cabinet that we got from eBay and we put it in the back of that little car that time, remember? So I've got all the hair products in there, all the blow dryers and everything else. That's our new metal lady, isn't she wonderful? That's a vintage card. So she's going to go in here. Um, yeah, when we get some nails. Uh, we've done this side so far. And this is baby's area. <laughs> we bought the Bubbles Bubbles machine with us. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm finally getting there. I've got a lot more work to do, but yeah. Mm, sorry. Mm. Yeah, so tomorrow, um, today, so I'm um, going to concentrate on my bedroom and unpack some boxes in there. I sort of figured out how I want it. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to go with this Duna carpet that I've had for a long time that Anastasia bought me and I never got to use. So yeah, I'm going with the Baroque look. A bit over the top, but um, <coughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Weird colors. So I'll show you tomorrow anyway, today, later today. I'm going to unpack a lot more in the lounge room. Um, yeah, so this is the start of the week. Today, today's will be Monday. Um, so yeah, no more old house. If I had it been well enough on the weekend, I would have done a jig for you because that's how happy I was about it. But um, yeah, so uh, today I'm going to unpack and just relax and try and get better. Uh, Anastasia's going to give me a new makeover and touch up my hair and, and everything else and and then I might feel a bit better. You know what it's like. If you get a little bit of pampering, you feel better in yourself, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's what, it's, that's what today brings when I have a few hours sleep and wake up. So, that's good. Goodbye. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs>